Hey guys, Will here with Media Place. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool new feature that we just added that I think you're really gonna like. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what we're talking about. All right, so I'm inside of Media Place. I've got my library open and I've got a few pictures that I need to remove the background in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this picture here. It takes me to the editor inside of Media Place. And I wanna simply remove the background, right? So a really cool feature that we've added is the background remove with AI feature, right? Super cool, super powerful. Now, the first time you use it, you turn it on and it's gonna tell you that you need to, uh, requires a pre-trained model to be downloaded. Just a simple plugin, right? It's only 123 megabytes, not a big deal. Just simply click download, downloads really fast. And the cool thing is you only have to do that once. After that, you're good to go. All right, so now I wanna remove this background very easily. So all I do is turn on the remove with AI background feature. And then there you go. It quickly removed the background um, for me inside of this picture. So now what I can do is I can come down here in the bottom right. I can rename this and let's just call it skater. No background, right? So I could either overwrite my existing photo that I have with my uh, transparent image here, or I could export this out and save it to a hard drive, to the cloud, wherever I may want to do that. Or I can just save it here inside of my library, which I'll do right now and just click save here. All right, so then you can see it's doing the process. And once it's done, I can go and hit exit. And then there is my saved PNG image here. And I forget to say, you do have the option when you do save these, as you can save as a JPEG, you can save it out as a PNG, choose the quality um, or a WebP photo, um, however you may choose, right? But you do get those options. But here it is. It does a really good job of removing the background really quickly. And it's a really awesome feature to have built in right into Media Place, right? So super cool. All right, so let's go back to the main library here and let's select this picture of the bird here, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and re uh, remove with AI and use that feature again. It does a really good job of removing the background for me again. Now he was sitting on a branch that it thought was part of the background. Now I wanna keep that. So what I can do is go to fine tuning and select keep, and then it will allow me to select and drag whatever I wanna keep or bring back into the image. Now I do wanna point out down at the bottom, you do have some options for the shape size uh, right here. It's 24. If I drag it up to 49 there, it gets bigger. So if I wanna uh, to shade a bigger area, I can do that with that, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it back to 24 there, all right? And then you do have some opacity options too to adjust if you want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and select the bird on the branch right here and then click and hold and drag down on this branch. And then you can fine tune as you go. You could zoom into it if you need to and select a little more of the object that you want and then select apply changes, right? So now you can see I brought the branch back Super fast and efficient way to quickly remove backgrounds, br uh, bring objects back if you need to. And then of course I can save this back out. Um, I can save it as, let's call this bird BG. And then I can overwrite the existing image that's in my library currently with this transparent image. I could export this out to a hard drive or I can um, just save it right here as a new one, which I'm gonna do, right? So I'm gonna save it. And then once it's done, I can go back to my library and it is right here for me, right? And I saved it as a PNG. I could have saved it as a JPEG or a WebP photo, but I just saved it as a PNG, right? So there it is for the next phase of the project, super fast and efficient way to bring back objects, right? All right, so let's go ahead and click on this picture of the girl here. And again, let's go ahead and remove the background with the AI feature. And again, it does a really awesome job at removing that background for me. Now I do need to fine tune some of this because her hair color blends in with some of that background. So it kind of kept it in there a little bit. Um, so I need to do some fine tuning right there, right? Now what I can do is I can click on under fine tuning, there is the erase section here, right? And again, just like with the keep, the erase has the option to increase the shape size a little bit or the opacity, right? So what I'm gonna do is just drag from the bottom here and just drag up along and just, I wanna clean up some of that uh, kind of extra background that got filled in with her hair there, right? So then you can see it cleaned it up really nicely so again, it's another fast and efficient way to utilize some of these fine tune tools to kind of help um, increase your workflow and then speed up everything you need to do inside of Media Place, right? And then you can get this exported out for the web to your next designer to do their work that they need to do, right? So super cool in a fast and efficient way. Let's go ahead and rename this and let's just call this girl hat BG, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just save it um, as an additional copy. I don't wanna overwrite my existing because I may wanna go back and um, utilize that for something else, right? So really cool, again, we're saving as a PNG, and once it's done, you can go back and exit, and then here is the final product for us to manipulate later, right? So really cool features 
built in with this uh, remove AI background feature inside of Media Place. Um, now there's a couple more things I wanna show you um, how to utilize, right? So another one that I wanna show you, if I double click here, if we go to crop and I select auto, you know, right now you've got all this extra space, right? From the image that we cut out from the background, but we don't need all that, right? So it can consolidate it down for you by clicking auto and it will then just crop it all down for you. Um, so I don't have to um, have this bigger image that I need, right? So then I can go from there and then I can hit save here and then I'll go back. And then here is my new saved cutout that I've got that I can then apply to additional things that I want, right? So a really cool feature um, for cropping um, and taking away some of that excess for your transparent image. Now let's talk about um, batch editing, right? So we can batch edit some of these. So maybe you've got like 15 or 20 images that you need the background removed from. Uh, maybe they're, some are complex, some are a little more simpler. Um, what you can do is we can go and let's select uh, this guy and let's select these three things right here, right? So I've got these three images that I wanna remove the background from all at one time. So let's go over here, select them, go to actions. And then what I can do is go to images. And then right here is remove BG, right? If I select that, I can say, I wanna remove uh, with AI and then choose, do you wanna be JPEGs, PNGs? Let's save as PNGs, adjust the quality from there. And then let's go ahead and save new. And then let's go ahead and save them. All right, so you've got your tasks in progress and then down in the bottom right, you've got the progress bar and right now it's at 50%. And once that's done populating, you'll see in your library, the new images that have all had their backgrounds removed, right? So here's the guy. And then here is the, the dancer there. And then we've got the skateboarding guy, or sorry, the jumping guy with his background completely removed. So now we can take those images and apply them to other projects, what we need to use them for in a very fast and efficient way, right? All right, so really cool features being built right into Media Place to improve your workflow and efficiency. Stay tuned for more videos. And as always, keep creating.